What's up again guys? Yeah, it's me, your friendly neighborhood Dovahkiin, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 Early Access. And uh, before we begin, be sure to hit on the subscribe button for more great videos. Okay, in the last episode, we cleared the Putrid Bog, aka the Sunlit Wetlands, by slaying all the monsters and a monster hunter for that matter on the surface that is. Today, we dive into the heart of this area, Auntie Ethel's Riverside Tea House, to save Marina. Ethel is rumored to be a hag, but uh, come on, isn't that obvious already? So, let's follow Star as he joins the rest of the squad who are already set for the ambush. I can just walk into homes now. This gets three. better and better. Another weakness of vampires is that they can't enter homes unless invited. But as you saw, because of the tadpole, that is no longer a flaw for Star. Which would be just stupid if he was designed otherwise. Cause he's a damn rogue slash thief for Christ's sake. Anyhow, Ethel will offer to remove the tadpole on your head in exchange for one of your eyes. Don't even think about considering it, cause she'll eventually fail on removing the tadpole, and you're gonna be a one-eyed jack. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all. You'd best have one hells of an apology for me, young man. Oh, the wizard thinks he's smart because he can read. How precious. You know, I was going to give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door. But I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Hmm? Watch that tone, sweetie. You want to be in my good books, trust me. That wriggler in your head isn't going to get its damn self out, is it? Busy bodies are not appreciated around here. I'll talk about your wriggler, and that's it. Last warning. You want to play the hero so badly? Fine. Let's make this interesting. Mortal. Mortal. 
Ethel, you're not supposed to die here. I even blessed you for Christ's sake. She's supposed to escape midway in battle and run to her stinking lair. Anyway, that simply proves that my tactics are OP. The same AI breaking strat that I used to decimate the face spider matriarch back in episode 9, frightening her via Lazelle's menacing attack. And if you want to replicate what I did without a battle master on board, use silence instead. By the way, before I reload this fight without using menacing attack, here are her stats. She escaped as intended. Anyhow, 
don't worry about the nauseated condition because it vanishes after a long rest. And uh, for that matter, drinking from her well again for the refreshed buff is gonna be fine because uh, she's the only one who can turn it into nauseated. There's an arrow of teleportation stuck in the wooden beam above the main door. And uh, you don't need to overthink on this by piling up boxes or using Mage Hand to reach it. Just watch as I simply maneuver the camera. Alright, before we go downstairs, I'm going to pick up a few containers because they will be handy later. that his beauty never fade. Don't! Stop! Please! Please! Away! Away! What is this place? This poor dear wished never to lay eyes on her family again. My dearest Efren, he begged me to halt the deadly disease that ravaged him. Lauren. He wished to know what was to come. Stop. Please. Please. We will revisit this gallery later, after killing the hag. Now for a way out. Wait. Wait. Don't. Don't. Stop. You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through. Not again. Images flash. A man cowering, a bag open at his feet, gold coins spilling onto the floor. His cries for mercy are cut short as the hag slices into him. Removing limb by painstaking limb, she cackles, the man's remaining flesh twisted and contorted, becoming the twisted surface of the door before you. Flee, you feel it cry. A scene appears in your mind, two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. The door stays silent. 
Its form flickers, and you realize that the door is transparent. You see the hag, eyes bright with glee, as she sets fire to the door. With a jerk, you're pulled from the vision. The presence within shrinks, begging you not to run through it. Let's pick up a whispering mask before passing through the illusory gnarled door. are hostiles in this next area and you can put on masks on your entire squad to avoid the fight but that's for fucking wimps I'm here for the kill exp they are non essential NPCs anyway disposable so to speak however I'm not gonna barge in like a noob I'm gonna control the high ground and ambush them right under their noses with the help of shadows pass without trace and I think they have low wisdom, perception for that matter. That's why this tactic works. Anyhow, I've turned off Lazel's repost for this fight, cause I need to preserve her superiority dice for the hag later. Okay, just watch. Ah! 
And that is how you make things easy. <sighs> the next area is blocked by poisonous fumes, but uh, like the door, are actually just illusions. To unravel the trick, however, you need to equip the Whispering Mask. But there's a catch. The Hag will possess you. To prevent that, simply cast protection from evil and good before wearing it.
Remember the containers that we picked up earlier? Here's where you use them. Give in, sweet one. Serve your dear pretty little. Something over there. Also, beware of the peculiar flowers. They explode. Stop fighting me, Petal. Let me take care of you. Eventually, precious. They always do. If you enter her abode conventionally, like a noob if I may say, Ethel will not bug. She'll appear as normal. Watch. My fortune! In the cage. You come to my home, interfere in my business, and now have the gall to face me in the heart of my lair. You petulant bollocks! I'll rip your spine out your asshole! I'll use your blood to spice my stew! I'll keep you alive until I've sucked the marrow from your bones. And then I'll bring you back and do it all over again. Just get out of here, please! But uh, of course, my tactics are unconventional. I always think out of the box to set up the perfect ambush. That said, I'll enter her abode in stealth. However, this will trigger the bug. Ethel will not show up. Anyway, observe how I set up my squad as well. In the cage. Enough! Don't do this! Leave me here!
no fear, cause she's not absent, she's just invisible. And a simple AoE spell will fix the bug and reveal her. By the way, the Create Water spell will also work well. Now, just witness the perfection of this fight. Don't do this! At this point, I can simply use Lazelle's pushing attack or shove to throw her into the chasm and plummet her to her death. But uh, that's too cheesy for me, so I'll spare her that fate to see what she's got. No damage at all. Anyhow, there's another scenario, wherein if left with a 10 HP or less, she'll beg for her life and permission to take Rena with her in exchange for giving you power. A bonus ability point. And uh, you can go for a very difficult ability check to keep both Rena and that said power, which is gained via eating her hair. Yes, I've attained that scenario as well, but the damn hair is bugged. It does not work. Or uh, she might have just trolled you for being so greedy. Cause uh, we all know that dealing with a hag is stupid. But uh, either way, eating her hair is just utter disgusting. It could be from her nasty bush for all we know, 
so uh, it's better to just fucking kill her. You bastard! You ruined it! You ruined everything! Ethel was going to bring my husband back. Back from the dead. And now I'll never see him again. Because of you! I was fine! She wouldn't have killed me. I had something she wanted. Just a bit longer and my child would have been born. And all this, all this would have been over. Don't judge me. I have nothing. My baby would have been raised in rags. Auntie Ethel promised to give this child a good life. Teach them magic even. More than I could have done. She said I'd make a bad mother. I... I think she was right. Now I'll have to drag Connor's coffin all the way home. It's the only way this child will ever meet their father. I hope you're happy. Do you pity her? I understand her desperation to the point of getting brainwashed so easily. But uh, if you ask me, I should have just let her cage burn and plummet to the Underdark. Besides being ungrateful, during the fight, she was just as noisy as fuck. Anyway, aside from the slime bomb, Ethel's loot is just composed of the stuff you sold her back at the Druid Grove. Before rummaging her workshop, let me show you a secret location. By the way, you need to equip the mask to pass through, yet again, another illusory door. But don't fret, the hag is dead, so she can't possess it. This portal leads to the Underdark. Anyhow, for your entire squad to pass through the door, they may all need to wear masks. I said earlier that we will revisit the gallery, so here we are. A thief! who tried to steal from Auntie. Now the good little pet guards my home. Is the hag gone? Gods, tell me she's gone. Oh, please. May she burn in the nine hells. The hag. There's never been a more vile creature. The things she did to me. I was a fool. I wanted to know my fate. I had a choice between two lives and I was frightened of choosing wrong. I asked the hag to help me see what the future would hold. Got what I wished for too. I saw my future self. A corpse, rotten with maggots. And everyone around me dead. Putrid and dead. A boring story. Stay or go. Marriage and kids or a life of novelty. I lost my best years rather than just choose. Yes. I will. Thank you. Oh! 
Oh, oh, my head! Oh no, no! Why ain't I petrified? What? How? How am I still breathing? I have the bite. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Your insides end up on the outside. Petrification stops the spread. I was on death's door. But now I feel... I feel great. How? Oh. He detects traces of decaying magic within him, likely the cause of his disease. But that doesn't make a lick of sense. The bite ain't magical. Unless... that double-crossing, filthy, lying hag! She made me sick and then trapped me in stone for kicks! I left me wife, me kids behind for fear of infecting them. They were only babes. The stones know how old they are now. Only because of you. I... I ain't got no way to repay you. And no, what you've done for me and mine today won't be forgotten. Thank you. Edge closer to the mirror, a pale face appears, contorted in fear. Fists slam against the mirror's surface again and again. Don't break the mirror. You'll get banged, if that is even an actual word. Now to the workshop for some proper loot. That odd staff might be of interest to Gail. These are the notable items that I just picked up. And the wand, the bitter divorce, is probably the best one. Because uh, besides being the means to finish Rena's quest, well, you just have to see, and I'll tell you more about it later. For now, let's go through the portal and meet Rena outside. I say the swamp is a breath of fresh air compared to the hag, but not really. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. <sighs> what? You can? 
You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back! Bring Connor back! Please! something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. What have you done to him? He's not a creature. He's my husband. I wanted him back. Back the way he was. Not this. Connor? Connor! <sighs> I don't even know if he's in there. But he might be. And if he is, I'll find him and bring him back. I kept the wand and it got renamed as the second marriage. And uh, why the hell would I even trust this powerful item to Rena? That woman is an absolute nut job. This closes her quest by the way. Anyhow, the unlimited wand, with no daily cooldown for that matter, allows you to summon or clone to be exact Zombie Connor from any corpse in the game, but the corpses remain intact. So uh, practically, you can have your very own zombie army. Though they only last for a minute, in real time, you can clone up to 8 or more. I'm not sure what we expected, really. It was never going to be happy ever after with a hag involved. Oh, yes! <laughs> Did you see her face? <laughs> Amazing. And that morbid sense of humor is the reason why Star is easily the most likable companion. Anyway, remember the adult frog that we chatted with in the previous vid? It may have something in store for us. So, let's speak to it again. We've cleared the entire putrid bomb, so uh, stay tuned in for the next episode as we patch things up and explore a new area. And that is all there is for now, thanks for watching. Also check out other videos from Sabbath Band Philippines and don't forget to subscribe. See you on my next vid, peace out y'all.